Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today is part two of the jewelry jar. If you missed part one, I'll leave a link for it in the description box below. We're gonna finish going through this jar and see what other kinds of awesome items that we find. We have about half this jar left, so let's get it poured out and go through everything. So far, this jar has been a lot better than the first one. Lots of really good items. Oh, this is nice. Look at this, guys. Isn't that pretty? As usual, I'm going to set the earrings to the side. There were a few mismatched earrings last time, and hopefully we will find the matches to them. That's interesting. I'm not sure what the design is on this. That looks like a coin. Almost looks um, Turkish or Middle Eastern. And it has a hook closure on it. Hmm. Not sure about the symbol that's on that. This is a chain. This is nice. This looks like a Monet, but I don't see any markings on it. Nice heavy gold chain. It is vintage. Get a load of this. This is huge. It's a costume piece. Look how big that is. It takes up most of my finger. And another ring. Probably costume. I don't see any markings on it. But I will check it to make sure. See if we can get it untangled. And it looks like it has a marking on it. Hopefully that's coming in clear. So this is a Napier. Have it backwards. Here we go. Nice, nice vintage piece. Another ring. There's a marking inside of this one. That looks like a name, doesn't it? S-E-T-A. It's got some wear on it. See that? Lots of wear on this one. These are all glass beads. see any markings on this, but this is nice. I 
another ring. Thought this was adjustable, but it's not. Cute. Okay, so these are faux pearls. Let's see what this says. LC, Liz Claiborne. I've never seen Liz Claiborne that looked like that, but this is nice. Clamp her bracelet. I don't see any markings in this one. Very well made. I like the design of this. And it's also in good condition. And this is just a memory wire bracelet. Pretty beads though. Aren't those pretty? So this is a stretch and it has this struzy stone on it. The gold beads aren't glass, but the rest of these beads are faceted glass. So far, so good. These are real stones. Toggle closure. This looks like it might be sterling, so I'll probably test this. There's quite a few pieces that came out of this jar that I plan to test. So this still has the tag on it. It says it's genuine stone. I'm not sure. Do you guys think this may be jade? If you know, let me know in the comments. It's very cold to the touch. This is a gold tone cuff bracelet and it says more. Okay, rather small. Another bracelet. This one's done on chain. So it's not a stretch, cute. And it has this little piece on it. This kind of looks like Tommy Hilfiger. I don't see any markings on it, but it's what it reminds me of. Oh, cool. So this matches the bracelet. So we have a set here. Certainly going to test this and see if the findings on this are sterling because these are real stones. A close and a bracelet and this is for a child. Look how tiny this is guys. So this would be really cute for a little girl. To pick out all of the earrings and set those to the side and I wanted to mention I will be doing a subscriber appreciation sale to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers I've been planning to do one for a while I just haven't gotten the time to do it mentioned last time things have just been so crazy and hectic and the holidays are coming up so but I will be doing a subscriber appreciation sale 
pretty soon on my channel. Laurier really does look like the Tommy Hilfiger colors. Doesn't say Tommy Hilfiger on it. Okay. This is interesting. It's a brooch. I don't see any markings on it. it has a very Native American look to it, but it is a gold tone. Another bracelet. These are all glass beads, very well made. And it has a toggle closure. Don't see any markings, but again, I will test this to see if it's sterling. Okay. So this, these are faux pearls. No, it's a mixture. So there's a strand of faux pearls and a strand of glass beads. And this one also has a marking on it. Premier Designs. It's pretty. Premier Designs, a lot of their jewelry is really nice. Very well made. And these are some gold tone beads. And this one's also signed. Looks like most of the sign pieces were in the bottom. Oh, nice. This is Park Lane. Love Park Lane jewelry. So another good piece. Another good vintage piece. Okay, so this matches the necklace. The Premier Designs necklace. So another set. That is awesome. This is lightweight, but this is pretty. Jewel mint. All right, another sign piece. And these are uranium. See how they light up? Nice. You know a lot of people like to collect uranium glass. Not all of them are uranium, just those two, I think. Oh, there's four uranium and then these are different. Okay. Another bracelet. This one's enameled. I like this one. And it does have a toggle. A really cute bracelet. Rather small. This is just a fashion ring costume. Now let's have a look at these earrings. So right off, there is a match to this one that I showed in the last video. So this is a complete set. Nice. These also have a match. These are made out of wood. Pretty neat looking earrings. Some faux Baroque pearl clip-ons. See a marking on these anywhere? Double check. Sometimes it'll be on the inside. Nope. 
These look pretty good though. I like these. I like these too. No marking, but in really good condition. The enameling looks really good on these. These are cute. These are some cute little fashion earrings. These are discolored. May be able to clean these up because these are really pretty. They have enameling inlaid on the front of them. Clip-ons. Brooch. Looks like I don't know, maybe that's a zebra. Kind of funny looking. These are rather cute. I like the colors in them. So these are carved, it looks like bovine. It's supposed to be sea lions by the look of it. Some fashion hoops. And another pair of clip-ons and these these are just really lightweight plastic love the enameling on them And we have one single earring, and this is a very old screw back earring. No mate to this one. So this was a very good jar. There were some vintage pieces, some really nice designer pieces, some signed pieces, not to mention real stone, and also some sterling. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.